Hi, welcome to TechRanch, place where we learn and earn technical skills in the most efficient way. Let's make coding fun. PL SQL Practice Project Part 3 Stored Function. This is the solution of a practice project of Session 3 where we have learned about stored function in PL SQL series, where we are going to show you a live demonstration of stored function to display multiple values from table. So before we get into the demonstration, let's just have a quick recap of stored function. Stored function is a piece of code, PLSQL, which used to get the value and return some values and will perform some functionality and return you some values. The syntax goes like create or replace function, the keyword, and the give you the function name and we give the in parameter. The percentage type will sync up with your uh, real database table and assign that variable, that particular type of data type. Where return the number is mandatory with function because functions always return the values. And the value which he return will be assigned is like is, this is the value is going to return. Now begin. The piece of code started here and here first we need to define or initialize any variable if you're going to use or else just get the value from the column B and table A, column A equals to row 11 and this is how it will return the single value. Now let's take a look at the practice project. So there was a practice project of a student table where we have ID, grade, name and marks. ID are of varchar type grade is number type name is varchar types and marks again is a number type now the problem the practice project mentioned that you need to create a function to find the name of students who scored more than 70 count number of students whose marks is more than 50 and create a function to calculate average marks of students so to implement this particular practice project we are going to create three functions and start with first create a function to calculate average marks of student. So let's see the demo. I'm going to show you with the terminal or else you can use a SQL developer IDE for more convenient coding. I'm going to use the terminal just for your uh, reference and see how it works and parallelly. So before we do anything let's give the server set server output on so that it will display the output this is my database connection here all you need to give the password for connection and we have done last we did it with the student table so this is what the table we are going to refer it students this is the des description of table and this is the data we have already inside the table. Now we need to start coding. So, so as per our problem, first we are going to see how many students scored more than 50 marks. So for that create or replace function. This is your keyword. I'm doing testing or uh, student scored. This is my function name. Now next we need to give, I don't want any argument to pass or parameter. So just let's keep it straight and return the number is important, it's mandatory. So this is my count. So count is a keyword because we use a method. So let's have C and it has to be a number type which is initialized to 0 and start the coding, uh, start the definition with begin and we are going to use uh, select because we are have to calculate the how many students are there. So we need to retrieve the entire data and we are going to assign it to C variable. Whatever will the return type will come after the select query will be assigned to C variable from student table where marks is, you can put the condition 50 or 70 or whatever. And next we need to print. 
to make it more interactive and responsive what you can make to change here you can have an in input parameter as an in parameter which is going to be your okay typing error so you see this is my method if i execute this the function students code is compiled it says and now let's see the execution students code is a function name you can find it here and from here you can run it so it is a pre-compiled composition and you can see here two and it gives you the output of it so now next part of the question says we need to calculate the average of the marks of all the students so there are another way you can create a function like this instead of connecting the database and giving the function name so i'll give this calculate i guess calculate is already created or it is a keyword so we cannot do this so we can create give some give some another another name you can add your input or output parameter if you have any or else return is already there in the by default so you don't have to mention about the return variable and our return variable is going to be your number type so you can change your number rest will be the same return is number now here we have to take some input from the data so i'm going to consider the in parameter student table name percentage type and return number is going to be your marks student dot marks the type now in the begin section we are going to just retrieve the marks first into your m variable from student table now we got the marks all the marks and we're going to print and return m so here you need to give the variable which is going to return instead uh, it will give an error because we are trying to return more than one rows so in that case anyways we need to calculate the average of marks and uh, this will help you to return only one value the average of all the students so marks is what 61 so if you see for just for testing we have the data marks here if we calculate 34 plus 76 plus 45 plus 89 this is the total divided by number of students for 61 and the function return average marks is 61 so this is what the calculating average of the student table the mark student received now, now next part we have an objective to return the name of the students who scored more than 50 marks so in that case there will be more than 50 marks will be one two and uh, two data values so it is more than it is more than one values which is not possible using function to make it fun to make it more than two values using function we need to follow few steps number one first we are going to create an object type so let's start coding to create an object all you need to do is object type so what is the object type this will help you to store 
the variables or the rows values in one object so that you can retrieve it in case if it is not available for the table to access it so what i'm going to do is std this is my std object type as object where since i need to use two column values std name student name which is varchar type or give any size and marks so student marks just give another name of these variable because what we are going to do we are just going to have the different design of the database in an object form so that you can use it and access it what all rows you want to access from the table now create or replace object type std so how we are creating this create or replace type is the keyword giving the object type name as object is a keyword now brackets now give some variables those variables which you are going to use it in your function and accessing from the table so this is how we are creating an object so as you can see type std type object compile and it is created if you want to see you can find out these types also in the list here so you see now similarly once the object is created since it is uh, available for accessing the table another type is what we need is table type to create a table type you need to do the same thing create or replace type now here for the table is table type of std now this is going to be your object type so what you creating you first create an object type then you creating a table type out of that object type so mapping is important so to create a map from table type to object type you first create object type then access the table type from an object type so that it will be easy for you to get the values using table type now once this is done next step we are going to create or replace function to return the values using table type and object type so create or replace function let's get the function name std underscore score comparison and marks is a variable in input parameter and return std type underscore table type as v underscore or just give some name std name so let's make s name std type table type object and let's start from the beginning and here it's very simple what you need to do is calling your object type and inside the object type we gave the name and marks these are the variables which we have it in the table and call it in a bulk collect keyword this is a keyword bulk collect is a keyword into your there's so many ways you can do this this is one of the way another way is what we can do is uh, we can use the pipeline function or keyword
from student where marks is greater than the marks we getting it from the input parameter return your object name and your function so what we did we just create a function and get the in parameter m return the uh, table type object name so we are returning we are getting the number of names of the students who scored more than 50 so your input parameter is just one but return type going to be table types so all the return values are going to store it in the name of the table type and uh, std type object and uh, this is how it's going to be now let's first create function so there is some error here yeah. have your get score function now in case if you want to run this we need to call this method so first we created table type then we create uh, first we created object type then we created table type out of object type and then we create a function where we call the table type and invoke the and try to retrieve the values using object type and now next step we have to call this method so for calling this method i am just going to use std score and some value suppose 45 or 50 and let's execute this so you can see we have returned two values and if you want to run in in the sql command prompt so that is also possible your table your database already has that method tape types and object or you need to run the same command in the sql prompt it will work get std score and it will return the same values okay yes i made a mistake of typing so you see so this is what we have learned about the functions and uh, try to use it in the real-time practice project where you have a table we need to process the table and get the values and filter it out using functions with some rules if you have for example um, some threshold you need to pass for a student analysis uh, score analysis and creating the report and uh, this is one of the most important feature of PLSQL that you can use in your database to process the data. So we have completed all the three functions created uh, using for respective use and you can practice and have more hands on try to play around it with these features. So this is what we have done about the score function. In the next session, we are going to learn about trigger and cursors, and we are going to see the practice project and provide the solution of that practice project. So stay tuned. And in case of any questions or source code needed or assistance, please feel free to contact techranch2019 at gmail.com. Do like and subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more upcoming and interesting informative sessions let's make coding fun thank you